Thursday, October 6, 2016. Hello from Mary at the Mary Atelier. It is around 8.30 in the morning. Today, I sit at my desk in front of the east window. No rays of that bright sunlight beaming across my page this morning. It looks more like an autumn rain out there. There are several things that I wanted to write about today. The first is yellow ochre. Mrs. Shannon Green has often talked about the color yellow ochre on her channel though I could not point you to the exact videos. Yellow ochre, Shannon says, fixes everything. Yes, yellow ochre, that mustard color with the hints of gold. Hints of gold? I can see why it would fix everything. I did get a sneak drive away yesterday with the excuse that I was going urban sketching. By now, my family knows well that I'm out sketching. Yes, I had every intent of sketching yesterday, except I drove through miles of country without one urban scene enticing me to stop and sketch. Well, that's not quite the truth. There was plenty to sketch, but somehow I seemed intent on just enjoying the beauty of the drive. As I drove, my mind pondered many things. I think country drives are good for that pondering, letting or getting all of those pinned up thoughts out on the open road where one can think about what one is thinking about, sort out the worthy and litter bug the trashy thoughts that cloud up the day. Then I noticed it. Yellow ochre. We have fields and fields and fields of yellow ochre here in Nebraska. As the crops turn from that vibrant green to acres of, yes, yellow ochre. I thought of Shannon Green and her declaration that yellow ochre fixes anything. Yes, I think perhaps Shannon is on to an artistic truth. You see, many folks drive across the Nebraska prairie and think, boring. Well, I don't see it quite that way. At least in the month of October, we have miles and miles of fields of yellow ochre, the color that fixes everything, even Nebraska. I will see you on the next page. Mary at the Mary Atelier, Thursday, October 6th, 2016.